Welcome everyone. Today we are streaming the quarterfinal, the last quarterfinal for GTL season four. Uh, it's in models versus UNL. And I have Leo and Hergus with me today. How's it going everyone? Afternoon, afternoon. Hey everybody. So the timer has started. 150, 120 seconds remaining before the timer ends. You're gonna already have four tanks. Might be a popular pop, blah, blah, blah. popular wait till the last forty seconds and pick all your tanks at once. Boss of Valor. Uh, well, they're just going for it. They're probably just deciding on what they're gonna do and deciding rules. I think three teams that have progressed towards semifinals are one uh, in model EU and AWS. All three of them are EU teams so far. They modeled of the last NA team that are still in uh, this tournament. Looks like uh, UNL, they're dominating this DTL. Let's see how today's, going. today's games go. Man, I can't English at the moment. I apologize. English is not my first language. Okay, models are ready. They have picked up all seven of their tanks. It looks like on this side as well. I'll go over a models lineup. We have Skizfiz, Bot Tank, Steel, Steel Titan in Valor, Nate, Deshmaster, I7, Hadron, and Desert Storm in Batjat, and Sir Tubbins in T100 LT. Uber, you to take UNL? Yeah, you can. Uh, I'm going to do that, yeah. Uh, Dwarf on Drugs and Kur Kurpa. In T100s, double lights. Okay, interesting there. And great map to do it on, too. Um, we got Benji in a machine, Hib Hibsdan in his Valor, Randy Duck, Psycho Pooch, and Celtic Dawn in Killens. You know Very what? Mobile feel... lineup. Mm -hmm. I think they're, they have two lights to, to cover both hills. Maybe they might go for any one climb for one light, and the other one can go for AO, A0 climb. Let's see what they do, though. Okay, so the HUD up seems to be right in models on the red side, and they have the red tags as well. UNL attacking with blue tags. The so UNL are the ones who are attacking, so like no climb from UNL. I thought they were defending, but I think they'll have vision on both sides. Yeah, I was confused at what you said there. I was like, what do you want to do the climb? You're gonna yellow straight up past the board. <laughs> 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 uh, I, 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 mm -hmm. I was saying that I knew it looked it looked like a very mobile lineup. I was like, this is a straight B cat push, but it looks like yeah, it looks like Immortals can kind of read that. Yeah, uh, they have mobility, they can rotate or counter rotate multiple times, but it's interesting. UNL have opted out against bad chats. Both the light tanks going straight in for the vision. They might have over pushed here. The bats and lights, they are in position. Will they be able, will UNL lights be able to get out? Kurpa is getting punished. 400 HP left for him. Unfortunately, doesn't a light tank up. take that many big hits. The models Someone... played very stealthy. They waited for their push. They know they were coming, right? So they stayed undetected for as long as they could. And then when UNL had overcommitted, they just punished them. This is the second time I've seen an IS-7 placed over at C5. If you remember, uh, they, they did this to us yesterday. Uh, yes. I think that's a pretty wonder if that... good, decent position to farm the... Uh, H5 I wonder if that's an spot. EU, uh, you know, EU sort of style. Oh, but that's... That's yeah, an NA team. A, a team. Yeah, no, I know, but... But here's the thing, though. So they're making a full rotation. Like, the, the entirety, uh, minus the Valor on the... On uh, J0. They're rotating. Making a flip here, so... It doesn't if they are like rotating. I noticed. Mm -hmm. 
I think they have because you can see Nate is already in a position where he can easily uh, get intel on the cap and Tubbins is detected so he know the man is on the side. It'll be interesting to but. see if Tubbins and Dwarf both uh, duke it out up here. Yeah. They haven't connected any shots yet. Are, uh, both are on the move. Dwarf managed to get one in. But he needs to not cross the train tracks right here because the models are set set up. Okay, they only tracked him. Wow, uh, Tubbins as well. Well, both lights are on one shot, one shot from, from both teams. One of their lights yeah. are on one shot. Yeah, but on my shot, the second one. They do, but again, they need that guy to apply cap pressure because Nate, it's very easy for Nate to just spot uh, the cap from where he is. So I think UNL need to take him out first or have different angles on him. It looks like Amish is really, really spread out here. Um, with the machine and the T100 down here, I'm not sure what they can do from back here. But they do have a huge cross though, so if the model tries to push that IS7, I think that's what it is. You see here, UNL is making a hard. Sorry, or, I'm sorry, Immortals is making a push down to the south. So I think this is UNL's opportunity up on the ABC line. To, yeah, uh, use hips their match and get some stuff done. Hips then can see Randy will be going down shortly. It. Yeah, machine needs to connect all his shots, but I think hips down. Hips then is going down here. That's it. Storm had run rushing. Nate He's has actually turned his attention to the south as well. Had Desert is reloading. Both Batjats, they're on reload now. They were not able to finish hips then. Can hips then? He has the opportunity to take one of the Batjats out. He has to. It's just a matter of whether he knows that or not. Yo, Skiz just no. took him out. Yeah. yeah, nice shot. On the move too, by the way. On the move, yeah. You can see up to the north side here, uh, we have um, oh, the both QLs pushing Nate, and we have Randy Duck and the other QL pushing um, Raided. The Immortals have pretty much secured the south side here. Machines a one shot. Steel Titan will finish Benji. This uh, next shot. The models, all, all of them are rotating to the other side. The bats at Sir Tubbins. On this side, we have Randy Duck uh, punishing Bot Tank. They have an opportunity here. The game's still not over. They can finish. Yeah, bot I tank wasn't here. paying attention. Nothing to the north. They, they actually got a lot of work done up at the top, and they're still very healthy. 10% HP difference. Looks Death, like uh, Storm is closing in. If wow. they can kill Desert here, if these QLs can kill Desert, the game can turn very well. He's a one shot now for Psycho Pooch. Looks like Psycho is going to have a shot on him. Cabin is also a one shot. And on this side, Dwarf managed to escape uh, the, the Valor. I don't know if you saw, but Randy is about to take another shot from their Valor. Uh, but someone lit him up on fire and killed him out. It's a little bit of, you know, okay. mm -hmm. a little bit of um, the game helping you out there. HP still yeah. even. UNL has one more tank, but they're all, also the ones with, who has to apply cap pressure. E100 LT pushing aggressively, even though he's one shot. Okay, no, he's going to get behind pressure. this rock for cap pressure, yeah. A smart move from UNL side, Sir Tubbins again, one shot. Steel Titan is the one who has to do the heavy lifting here. They Yo. gotta they gotta see they gotta they gotta get vision on that killing down at the bottom, Randy Duck right there, and they need to push that batcher down there to get rid of him. I was gonna say I, I, I think uh, Tubbins as well, I think UNL is predicting that he's gonna be coming up the backside here. You can actually see so oh. he's not detected he's not yet. Pushing. Celtic needs to take Tubbin out, Celtic fired. Yeah, Tubbins Celtic might be able fired. to Tubbins. Out here. No, no Tubbins didn't shoot at him. No, he shot the dwarf who was one shot and this is the right play to be honest. Psycho push goes down. Steel Titan is down. Okay. Grandy needs to take out head drone. Looks like they will. Tubbins took out dwarf. 2 2. Grandy should take out the bat yet. Uh, Celtic don't finish Tubbins. 
who was on one shot for a long wow. time. Oh, it's over. And then they rammed the bat chat. That was wow. down to one shot there. I think the bat chat reload. I wish I could have seen a, a loadout on the interclip there. I bet you that would have been a millisecond off. Wow. Very close game. That's what close games are like. <laughs> so much going on all at once. Mm -hmm. I, uh, when Immortal pushed the south, I thought they, they won the game they had pretty much in the back, but at the same time, UNL pushed the north side, took out Nate and uh, the other heavy who was at the corner. Yeah, those killings are ridiculous, man. Ridiculous DPM on that thing. Okay, I'll go with Immortal lineup. We have Hadron in his bat chat, 3600 damage in bat chat, it's very decent. Desert Storm, 2k damage in his bat chat, Gears Fizz, uh, 1k damage in... Uh, in Valor, bot tank doing 2100 in his Valor, Steel Titan 2400. Uh, Tubbins, he got heavily punished when I was, he was trying to retreat from the train tracks, 600 damage, but he did, uh, it was close, I mean, he did put a shot, try to put a shot in light tank, but it only tracked him, so that was unfortunate. Nate doing 1000 in his R7. You go ahead and uh, go over Unleash since I went over the lineup. Um, so on Unleash, we have Psycho Pooch in the QL doing two kills and just shy of 2,600 damage. Um, we have Hibstan in the Valor uh, pushing over just over 1,300 damage. We have Benji in the Machine uh, with a kill and 1,500 damage. Uh, Dwarf on Drugs in his T100LT just shy of 1,500 damage, uh, 1,100 spotting there. Uh, we have Kerpa and his 200 LT um, dealing just over 600 damage. Um, and we have Celtic and Randy Duck both in their QLs. Uh, Celtic, you know, just over 3,500 damage, and Randy Duck uh, just under 3,000. Uh, Celtic pulling in three kills there, and you know, you could definitely see he's making his shots count. Uh, you know, ten shots fired and penned eight of them. Uh, so we definitely. The great job from UNS QL. High. All of them. Yeah. 36, three k and 2,500 damage. Great tank. What a turnaround, man. What a turnaround. Yeah, honestly, I think the way that they played their QLs was perfectly. Definitely pushing them up to the north side. You know, they're, they're fast tanks, putting them in the spot where they didn't need complete gun depression. You know, I think when they were pushing that Valor, they were at a slight disadvantage. Um, but I think they had majority rules there, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think also when they pushed Hipstan in the bat chats, they were not able to finish him. Uh, I don't think it kind of came back to hurt them, but they they got a bit. Uh, some of the shots were not didn't connect. That's what we're gonna have here. I'm just going to quickly check the stream to make sure everything is okay. Everything running smoothly? Uh, sorry, what? Everything running smoothly? Yep, yep. Pressure. As long as I manage to uh, make sure I take it out of intermission. <laughs> What's the timer looking like? 150 One seconds on the timer. Well, it's interesting to see UNL took heavy punish on, the, on that light early on, right? But And then they immediately rotated back, changed their plan, and managed to uh, came out on top. It's funny to see which, you know, premium 10s each team pulls. UNL taking the QLs religiously last game, and now they're pulling out the, the Valors. The Valors, yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting yeah, to see if Immortals pulls out QLs this time. Looks like not yet. I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, the reasoning could be because they're attacking, right? And if they see one side is locked, the initial side they push, they have, you know, they can rotate around quickly. Because since QLs are a bit faster than Valor, 
and it definitely which worked. ended up working out for them yeah because they were immediately able to close down on i7 and the, the, the valor um, yeah. like, i think it was bot tank if i'm, if I'm not wrong I mean, UNL seemed like they were doing a hard south push, and after that light tank took the punishment, they, you know, they rotated up north pretty quickly. And I think Immortals still left some of their attention. You know, definitely, I mean, you could have seen it. Immortals was focused heavy on the southern mm -hmm. aspect of the map, and UNL, you know, they had started to put more tanks up to the north. And that's why at the end of the game we saw them switch sides, essentially. You know, Immortals won the south, oh. UNL won the north. Sixty seconds remaining on the timer. UNL tanks are pricks. Tanks are yeah. pricks. So I'll go over UNL like uh, lineup this time. We have Hipstan in Super Conch, Celtic Dawn, and Psycho Pooch in uh, and and Randy Duck in Valor. So three Valors this time. No QL. Benji in Kranwan, Kurpa, and Dwarf uh, in T hundred LT. Over on Immortals, we got Still Tin Tan and <laughs> Titan. Still Titan, Skizfiz, and Jack uh, in Valors. We got Nate in the Super Conk, Double Batchess from Headrone in Desert, and Sir Tubbins in his T100. Double lights. Double lights again. Yeah, they, they opted out against Bats. Oh. And it worked for them last time, and that's again in this time. You know? Yeah, but this is a <laughs> crab wagon. I'm interested to see where they place him. Well, since they have two light tanks, now I guess can guess maybe they are going to one is going to A1 climb and the other one to A0. But the way it goes I'll probably be wrong. <laughs> Okay, let's see what the model does. They haven't opted out for, uh, they don't have any uh, QLs. UNL Crani looks like it's gonna go guard the B cap. Which makes sense. Yeah, I think you can stay hull down close to B cap. Or maybe you can, or is he trying to do the climb? Or some sort of semi climb? Immortals pushing to the north. Um, you yeah, know, definitely a dedicated A cap, it seems like. They're leaving a heavy and. Bat chat in the back, which I do think is a good idea. I feel like I should stop predicting what they could do because every time I do, they definitely don't do that. <laughs> I mean, we I think need one some form of commentary. Uh, yeah, I think one good thing about having two light tanks is right. Uh, considering Immortals are planning for A cap, so they have, now they have two tanks that can uh, go for spotting runs. And resets the too, honestly. Seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Benji is pushing hard, hard south with uh, Kerpa on UNL. Kron 1, okay, Kron 1. An interesting choice for this map. Interesting tank for this map. And also a decent position. Yeah, I think that the, the Kranbeck is what made them completely ignore B-Cap altogether. Wow, Immortals pushing two tanks over the north end of the tracks here. And they're not going to get spotted until I'm assuming they hit about three line. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see Skizfizz push to A2 most likely. And I think Steel is going to be going all the way up to uh, A4. Skiz is detected. So is Nate. Skiz, Skiz took, took a shot One here. shot from Super Kong. Yeah. And Hip's dead. Managed to put one in. Slight cap pressure, I think it's just a decoy they'll, they'll get out of, they just want light tank to commit. I think, yeah, this is a little fishing here for sure, trying to get them to come out a little bit. There have been 
on the cap. He's Dwar now detected. Who detected him though? Dwar? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. He just popped up on that bush. He's pushed up right now. I didn't see Tubbin's Twitch or anything. I don't know if he has a camo net or not. I don't know if he lost his camo net he's, or he's something been, happened been, there. He's been shaking. He's shaking a little bit. Yeah. Dwarf managed to spot Tubbin without taking any damage. I think Dwarf, that's a, yep. Now I think Tubbins is, is locked out because he's going to be moving to get into that position. And Dwarf's going to have the camo advantage on him. And this Dwarf, uh, no, Light doesn't lose camo on the move. This drop, Dwarf has it doesn't, okay. on as well. Unless he doesn't have silent driving oh. on. But that's really, really <laughs> he doesn't close back like either. Oh, it doesn't? Never mind. That, that, what's it called? Um, that's close proximity. He's going to keep him spotted no matter what. That's way too close. You can get spotted from an I-7. That's why they had the I-7 spotted last time. I think not if he's in a bush and behind with a cap on it, then you can't. But okay, getting back into the game, HP still, no, no one has lost any HP, 97, 98%, pretty close. So with this late in the game, with no H HP uh, shred, I think right things are a bit more favorable for UNL because they are in a defensive position they have. Yeah. Tanks with the need. And they have vision on both ends, mm -hmm. and they got fucking. Mm -hmm. uh, forgive me. They got. They got the uh, what's it called? Light tanks, mm -hmm. both permanent vision. Like that, that's it. The rotation is coming from the from the south side from the models. Do bad. Purpose spotted. I think it comes down to this Quran one when the push is com coming because if he can c connect his shots. Immortals has dedicated to go over half the, their the team gun. to the south. Oh, you can see over here, uh, taking quick glance back to the north, uh, Nate is combating their 200 LT dwarf on drugs. And he took one shot one. from Valor. Valor. Dwarf is detected, and if the models can punish him, he will try to escape. If Steel Titan Skizfis can manage to land wow. a shot on him, he's, Dwarf is so that, was, that shot was. He's that out. Shot yeah. Came from the bad shot. Yeah, that shot came from the bad shot. Great play by models. They pushed Nair in to, to spot the light tank and then deleted him. The models are on the driving seat now because one of the lights from UML is. It's kind of stuck at K5, so cap pressure can be applied now. How many, I wonder if they were counting the shells in the bat chats because, you know, that light could escape both Immortals bat chats are reloading. I just don't know if UNL was counting their shots or not. It doesn't really matter at this point. He's, they're way too close to finishing. Four well, minutes left. How, much, how many hit points he had. He's not even rendered on his yeah. screen. Okay. It's going to be very difficult for UNL. They will have to push in, but with those uh, bat jets set up for crossfire, they'll take a lot of punishment. 126 on the, on the timer. UNL is bleeding now, 75% HP remaining. Yeah, Skizfiz has great side shots on these uh, UNL players when they go to poke to reset. He's virtually going to remain untouched. Uh, ben got set on fire. Yeah. From the bat set yet, and he one shot. He's out. Nice Three percent HP guys. difference. The light tank is rotating in. He's getting tracked. He got tracked. He repaired. He's one shot as well, and they take him out. Yeah, both lights are gone. Great focus fire from Immortals here. I think we're gonna see him, you know, Hipston drop here shortly. At this point, they're, they're I guess they're trying to win by just surviving. They got the batch, or nothing. They got the T100 out of the cap. But two but minutes, like three minutes too much. are too much. Yeah. Three minutes are too much. You can't, they cannot survive. Yeah, I wonder why Celtic 
uh, you know, what what drove him to, to push down here? To get the reset on light tech. Oh, okay. Not reset, yes. to get the vision on light tech. They have to do something, yep. right? Oh, yeah, I Bats are coming in, died. Desert and Padron both have full health. They will just unleash themselves on these two tanks. And they're getting focused out first with one shot. Psycho Poots is going down next. Yes, I go as Flawless, flawless. You know... Yeah, that looked like they've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, the light tank from UNL, the one on the south side, I'm not sure, I think it was Kurpa. Was it Kurpa? Yeah. He pushed a bit, overextended a bit more and was not able to come back. That could have, you know, help immortals. Yeah, and, and like you said, you know, if he had not pushed so far, but I think, you know, one of the things I definitely even noted, uh, I remember saying it, uh, was Immortals definitely moved to a southern strong, you know, they had a lot of tanks down south. I think they had four um, at mm -hmm. one point, and I know, I think UNL only had three down there. Was that what it was? An Immortal, and, you know, plus a light tank, so two and a light tank maybe. Uh, so Immortal stuff, we had the hit point advantage and the DPM with those bat chats and you know, the whole nine yards. So I think they all made their shots count, apparently. Uh, you know, yeah, but they were shooting the north from south side. They were not fighting the Valor. Oh, they one, were. Right? Yeah, that's they, right. They took out the light tank. That's what they the focused tank, from yeah. that side. Yep, so it's 1-1 one, one now. Uh, I'll go over Immortals. Hadron is bat chat. Four kills, 3k damage. Desert, 3k damage in his bat chat as well. Nate Dashmaster, 2500 with two kills. Jackie, 1k damage from Valor, Skizfist, 3k damage, a Steel Titan with 1000, and Sir Turbin, 299 damage, and I was about to accidentally report him. Uh, going down the UNL side, we have Hibston and his super conk uh, getting out of shell. And you can tell, you know, he's definitely shooting a lot, trying, trying to connect a shot here or there. Um, uh, so unfortunately, you know, we know how those games go. Uh, Randy Duck and his Valor uh, dealing out just shy of 1,700 damage. Celtic and his Valor um, dealing just shy of 1,500 damage. Again, you know, 12 shots fired. UNL, they're, they're definitely trying. You know, they're <clears throat> it's hard to shoot those hold down tanks. Uh, Psycho, Pooch, and the Valor dishing out 1,800 damage. And we have, uh, you know, Benji, unfortunately, unable to, to get in a position where he was able to do damage. Uh, and then the 200s, I'm not going to... You know, say anything about them not connecting shots because I think the T100s. I think we maybe we can agree on this. I don't know what you guys will think, but I think they were there just for vision. I don't think they were supposed to be shooting and blowing. They got the caught out. And, yeah, yeah. Dwarf on drugs, especially because you know, as long as he was undetected, UNL had the upper hand. But then Nate moved forward, detected yeah. him, and he got shredded immediately. Those batches were ready. I'm, they I'm were. I'm, they I'm, knew I'm, exactly where Dwarf was as well. I think when Kevin's um, got spotted. So, yeah, I'm sure that there was... Uh, oh, there's like switching straight, servers. Yeah, there was mm -hmm. straight communication in um, saying, like, okay, you know, there's a lot of communication going on in that party. Hey, so yeah, can you just switch to get... EU server and then invite me? That way it'll be quicker for me. Yeah, that's what, what I'm doing. Shoot an invite to both of you guys. Hopefully it works. Sometimes Xbox does not let you shoot invites. You know, I think Batchat they played a huge role in this game. They they just turned on their uh, I guess switched up a gear from the first game because they they missed a couple shots in that game. But this game they had a huge impact with Hadron. Like Hadron had four kills, so they punished Kran one when he tried to push in. They took out the first light, took out the second, and then also finished two Valors to a stand. Oh, looks like I have the incorrect UNL logo. And I will switch it up right now.
Did they end up updating their logo or something? No, I think this one was just created for a meme. At least that's what I've been informed. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this one was later, so I just assumed that's the correct one or the new one, but that is not the case. Don't see that team training room open yet. They must be making it. Here we are. <laughs> you want the invite the file, through the The file name, name is the hue and correct logo. Uh, yeah, as, as soon as I find. Okay, I apologize for the incorrect logo. Now we have the correct logo, and that should boost UNL's morale. <laughs> if that was any concern, you know. But playing for incorrect logo could be, you know, affect your game. <laughs> but I don't think they knew. <laughs> so they're playing, not watching a five minute delay stream. I, I did see something about the logo in the chat. But some about credit. Mm -hmm. Okay, Cliff is the second map. Now we have switched to EU server, which is UNL's home server. Or is 1 1. Both games were closed. I think first more than second. In second, Immortals dominated a bit uh, towards the middle of the game. Once I got that Valor set up where it needed to be and got information on. And uh, 2100, covering mm -hmm. A, the, that's when the game flipped. Favorable. I think if uh, UNL had a bad set instead of ground one, maybe that could have worked a little better. I'm just saying. For rotation yeah, perspective. Them protecting the uh, B cap with the Cranberg was pretty much rendered useless when Immortals completely ignored that side. I think they can protect B from the Valor as well, but one of the things I think they, it kind of throws off the other team as well when you have a Kron one, like a non-meta tank. It, it makes them think, what's the plan here from the, the, the opponent? The non-meta meta. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like both teams are here now. I'm excited to see <coughs> if these guys potentially do some climbs on Cliff. Well, I'm not making any watch. predictions about climb anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, sometimes you can see people do it and they end up falling, falling down. Yeah, I think I, I was watching H8 versus the model EU yesterday, and H8 tried to push, uh, I think, one of the mediums up, one of the climbs, but they were caught out and were punished heavily. Did it happen to be like the D7 climb? E7? No, in steps. Oh, oh. Yep. 
Like, I'm trying to remember. Someone did that to us. They pushed. It was a machine pushing a bat chat up, I think, or a chisel. And they ended up getting caught out and farmed from the side. It's, we are still waiting on the timer. UNL has a tank out, so I wonder if they're... Doing no timer this time around? I don't know. Kaiser, I don't, I don't think you've played the first two games, though. Could be oh, due to mistake. connection issues. I don't think you did, though. I could be wrong, correct me if that's the case. Uh, no, he did not play. I don't think Panda played either. Yeah, I don't think Panda played, Panda played either. Okay, so the timer is on. Once 80 seconds remaining. On the model side, I think I haven't seen Archer Johnman play so far. I think he's one of their artillery players. DG Darkness hasn't played either yet so far, but... One Rasta Man is going to join Immortals for this last battle. <laughs> <laughs> this first battle, I guess. I'll, uh, I'll mention this again. Uh, if, if someone missed it the first time. So Immortals, NA is the last NA team. Uh, that are still in GTL tournament. So they, they have that uh, pressure as well. <laughs> we have three teams from EU already progressed towards the semi semifinal. And if UNL wins here, there will be no more NA teams remaining. Man, we really got to step it up. Yeah. Ninety seconds on the timer. You're waiting for one tank from Immortals. They're holding out their last bank. Could it be a tank destroyer? They are the one attacking, actually, so it could be an artillery. We saw L7 played CGC uh, on this map against one, and it worked out for them. Oh, well, on defense. No, uh, L7 played artillery. No, no, I'm saying. Oh, from you know, side, yes. on defense, yeah. 30 seconds What's left, we are done with tank fix. So I'll go over UNL side. We have oh, yes. Dan and Grandy in Super Kong, Baltic, Dawn, and Kaiser in I7, Skrpa and Dwarf. Oh, sorry, Kurpa in Batjat, Dwarf in Panzer Wagon, and Psycho Pooch in Object 261. Over on the Mortal side, Sir Tubbins in his 13105, Desert Storm in the M60, Bot Tank in his Batjat 25T, Steel Titan in. Jack in Machines, who is somebody in the Valor, and a Killen. Go over the names in a second. Yeah, we're undoing it off. We got Nate and his killing and Skiz who's in a valor. You can also see like a bit of variety when it comes to tanks in by you versus NA because uh, UNL have two super while 
uh, in models they opted for a valid LQL. I think you can play as Skunk, uh, especially when you have an artillery. Because you're going here for like a slow gameplay, a bit more HP, better gun. Is someone blind fire? I see some shots fired, but no one is detected so far. I guess they're, they're making sure the gun, the gun is working. <laughs> you remember that climb on B1? Yep. And the wagon is at B1. Celtic is detected while going up the hill with machines. Guys are putting one into the Valor. Are they pushing the I-7? They're pushing. Guys are here with QL and Valor machines. Okay, I-7 managed to get it unspotted. Psycho Same. fired, uh, unfortunately. I wasn't able to connect one. Someone hit a super conk. Okay. Probably one of the exploding machines. Randy Duck. Providing an overmatch for I7, so even if they do push that I7, they will lose a lot of HP because Red yeah. should be able to punish them. They models waiting for intel before committing to either sides. They do have the hill, Tubbins managed to get to the hill without taking any damage. Desert Storm and his M60. Is that how explosive? Okay, yeah, the push is coming. QL yeah, pushing. I-7, they were pushing, they got trapped. Psycho Pooch is not spotted yet. I-7 is getting punished. If they manage to not lose any tank with this push, that will be huge for them. Artillery fire missed again, only shot 83. On Skispis, nade is out. It's unfortunate, I wonder if Psycho's having some bad RNG here where, you know, he's not able to connect shots. You know, uh, Steel Daddy pushing straight in, he detected the light tank. If he can spot yep. the artillery, artillery Psycho. spotted. If the models can take out the artillery. Yeah, that was his here. purpose. He's still reloading while Dwarf is farming him. I think it might have been ammo rank because it took, it really and took a while. His fizz deck, the models are getting punished. Yeah, I think Jack's going to take some. Yeah. You end up the models here to, to commit. That's what they wanted. Their plan was all around to make a model push uh, Kaiser and then punish them heavily. It worked for them. Over on the other side, Desert Turbine still have HP. A Kurpa is one shot. Yeah, but there's a it's massive HP difference. There is. And uh, a massive tank difference. 30%. 30%. If Tubbins can take out Batjet and then Tubbins and Desert take out size 7 still it would be difficult because all the tanks are lost on the other side. Yeah, no, it's, it's a massive combat. I mean, they still got a full health conquer. 90%-ish conquer. No, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of HP, and like again, i 7 is very, very trolly trying to pin him reliably again and again. The M60 can do it, the 13105 is going to have some struggles. I think we're going to see the 13105 try to kill this bat shot, but he's not looking no. at him. He... There he goes. Two shots, but I mean, wouldn't that make any difference anyway? Yeah, I mean, you can't forget you still have Randy. Still on 2,400 hit points. And Celtic on 1,500. I mean, right there, it's already mm -hmm. a hard one to win. You know, won this game pretty convincingly. They had, even though that really didn't do that much damage, but man, he didn't manage to get two kills. Yeah, Zerg and the machine straight up towards getting information on that RD. I don't, I don't think it was a play. Once they killed that IS-7, I think falling back and regrouping would have been the play. But again, then they would have achieved nothing. They had already lost the tank. One thing I did want to look at with the 261, like I was saying, he might have had some bad RNG because seven shots fired, only two of them hit, and those are the two kills he had. So uh, that makes me think that, you know, he's obviously trying to hit things. I think it was just, you know... Mm -hmm. Well, that's what artillery does to you. Yeah, yeah just the life of artillery. Okay, remember so that. We're on the side. Remember that. 
Over on UNL side, we have Kerpa in his batch at 2200 damage. Kaiser, I7, uh, 1500 damage, 1760 blocked. Did his executor his job perfectly. If he's done a super conquer, 2200 damage. Randy, deck, 2600 damage. Uh, Panzer Wagon, 3k damage. Great farm from him. He, he took out that machine, made everything, all, everyone was lit in that B1 spot. Like a pooch, 2 kills, 648 damage, and Celtic Dawn in an I7, 1559. I'm going over on the Immortal side. Uh, we have Nate in his QL, addition out uh, 420 damage. We have um, the bot tank in his bat chat. Dishing out just under 1600 damage. Uh, Tubbins in the 13105, just under 1000 damage and a kill. Uh, Skiz is in a Valor with uh, just under 700 damage and a kill. And then we have Jax uh, in his machine uh, with just under 1000 damage. Steel Titan in the machine with um, 632 damage. And we have Desert Storm in his M60 uh, with 1321 damage. Um, you know, I think. Definitely see a lot of shots fired from Immortals. I think they were trying, you know, especially Desert Storm. Maybe he was trying to hit the lights or something, or the light. Or he was blind firing bushes. Um, you know, I know another interesting tough. thing I, yeah, I noticed is UNL did not pick any uh, mercenary or premium tanks. You know, these days you see team pick, picking a lot of premium tanks, but you can see that the other tanks, you can still win the games even if you don't have any mercenary or premium tanks. If you know, if you have the tanks at the correct spot. Yeah, I think especially you know seeing the super conk and the IS seven and the bat chat. I mean, I think those three alone, and then you can throw in the rampans are being a great light, especially for Cliff. Honestly. Mhm. Mm Good for climbs. Good suspension. I think this was also the first game where you and elected for a bat chat, so they do believe in bat chat. I thought maybe they just prefer lights. <laughs> but uh, no, they have bat chats and they have players who know how to play it. I'm trying to remember all the tanks that you had said. They said there was no premiums. It was I7, double supers, a Ram Panzer, and a T61. Yep, no mercenary or premium. So no machine. It is currently two to one, uh, UNL leading. Mm -hmm. This is far from over. Far from over. I think first game was the closest one. The second game, Immortals dominated, and the third game, UNL dominated. So let's see what happens for the next one. Timer zone, 150 seconds remaining on the on the timer here. How many seconds you say? It's like two and a half minutes left. Mm -hmm. two, two minutes two left now. Yep, in models they're holding for their tank picks. Uh UNL, they, they've already picked four tags. At this time, they are going for mercenary and premium tanks. Two machines and Valor, they're all already picked up. Some of the thing, a lot of the mercenary premium tanks, you get a lot of mobility out of them, it seems like. I'm not surprised you're seeing that on attack. Mm -hmm. Whatever everyone gripes about on the standard tanks, right? Mm hmm Ninety six in the cap. Immortals have all the tanks picked. Uh, I'll go over the lineup. We have Desert Storm in Super Conk, Skizfiz, Valor, uh, Nate in Machine, then we have Hadron and Steel Titan in Bat Chat. Air Tabins in 105 and Archer John Man in Object 268. You can pretty much just guess where that 268 is going to be, but you know, you know, you can, want to speak but you're a little bit wrong. I know. <laughs> I never want to speak too early. 
If I was a betting man, I'd say A6, A5, but you know what? Let's see if they can surprise me. <laughs> Next thing you know, we'll be at B2. <laughs> no, he could be pushing one line, going into the ball. Yeah, have to. That's what... <laughs> okay, that's seven, right? All right, so over on on leash side, we have Dwarf and Krupa and Betchets. Uh, Benji, Celtic Don, and Hibsdan in Machines. And Randy Duck, Sacco put you in a Valors. No, in their Valors. You know, it's very, both teams are, they have a lot of mobility. You know, three machines, two bats on one side, and then we have a machine, double bats, light tank on that the other unleashed, side. That Unleashed strat is looking pretty familiar, or that Unleashed lineup is looking pretty familiar. It's bringing up PTSD, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think um, the models, man. I, I think, like what you were saying, they'll push the to, uh, not push. They'll have the to succeed at A5 maybe, and then they will ignore the ball. They have to considering UNL has so like, a ball push mobility. advantage. Yep, and three yeah. machines, right? It's, but that being said, they will have all the caps protected pretty heavily to succeed. They have, it has great DPM, and 105, he will be able to make the hill climb without taking any punish, I feel, if that's what their plan is. I really want them to prove me wrong with the 268. I want to see where else they're going to put them. Okay, so the race for hell begins. I think that one of them no. climb on the, uh, on the hillside will have a huge impact on the game. You are now pushing ball with machines. Yeah, I think Tubbin's got a decent thinking. spawn there too. Yep. And Immortals ignoring the ball as expected. Honestly, what what uh, UNL is going to be able to do with this actually is they're going to have some pretty good control mm -hmm. on that one line. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they're going to put a cap pressure eventually. You know, I mean, I think they've lost their advantage to the north here. Yep, but they are not well, capping B. Yeah. But we have Nade here, you know, he can easily bait them. The two archer is set up, so okay, super comics are still rotating. Archer, no, he didn't fire. He's doing a he's, climb. Okay, he's doing the climb now. Yes, you need that high, uh, high ground advantage. Tabins put one in Celtic. Nate keeping them. Spotted. And the bat has rotated around to the other side. And the models are practically surrounded. All of them. Like from all three directions. Hadron got lit up. He he got detected. I think something happened on this. A steel titan went low. I'm not sure if it was that was intentional. He's coming back up now. Do you think the 268 is a better option than the Sturve uh, to be placed up here? Oh, big I mean, given, shot. Yeah, given that shot, maybe. <laughs> yeah, the 268 has the DPM, it has the camo, and you know, if it comes to it, he can actually go in and put one or two shots. Well, it's, uh, and it yeah, looks like that, he has done it, yeah. Without having to switch from Siege Bone and having to Siege Bone, it keeps its own mobility and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And over on the hill, we have a skills who made it to the hill as well without taking any damage. So hill control is huge in this map. And the models have two tanks on the hill. Uh, and they're full health. Nate providing vision and he hasn't taken any damage as well. Things are looking good for immortals at that point, but it can change very quickly. Okay. So they, they, it looks like they're trying to avoid any contact from that 268. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they know where the 268 is, they're just trying to get intel. Where all seven of their tanks are. And yeah, Mortals has lots of map control here. They do. I think one option that UNL has is push to one line. They should yeah, be able to make there that. without getting detected. That's actually, I think he just jinxed Celtic there. <laughs> I think that's exactly what he's doing. 
I mean, we kind of knew that that's that's what would have had to happen, after, you know, after seeing Immortals take such a, you know, complete control over this seven line and up, essentially. I mean, I would even venture to say five line and up. Looks like Celtic is not, but the bat chats are coming in. So I wonder if that's going to be the a cap pressure potentially, but honestly. They can, they can, they Immortals can get is cover calling over it. Look at this. Yeah. Immortal, you know, that amount of time being unspotted, you can tell, you know, UNL has their gears turning, trying to figure out what they can do, what they can't do. I think Immortals is saying, yeah, they're pretty much stuck doing a one line push. I think that's why they yep. brought Headroom back here. That's the only opening, and even then it's going to be difficult because we yeah. have Desert who can just. You know, have shots in the cap. I'm watching head run. Initially, he was over here and he kept looking towards the B line. I think he knows that that's where they are. Dwarf is going to try to get side shots on Nate here. I like UNL's play there, actually. They brought Kerpa up with Dwarf. <clears throat> just in case they needed to combat, you know, a lighter, even that 268, or, or I'm sorry, the medium or the 268. Uh, and once he got there safely, I think they pushed Dwarf back. Oh, and now he's making a liar out of me. You know, they, I think they're waiting for the right time to apply cap pressure. Because as soon as they do, okay, that's what they wanted. Archer is detected, he's getting shot at. Another one, if they can take our archer, he one shot, yeah, he's and he's gone. out. Okay, and then the game shifted. So archer was the target. How did he get spotted? Was it? Did he fire, or was did? I think it was dwarf. To... He did fire, but it was dwarf. I okay. think who spotted him. Could he switch to dwarf and see? Does he? Is it, does he have like binos or something? Oh, but I. Well, dwarf can see him if he fires. Yeah. I think that's Great what happened. Patience from yeah, from UNL here, and now they can actually you know push towards the D line, have some cross shots over on that side. Not only that, the machines are reloaded, and when Hadron comes in, they I think can they're trying him. to get Nate to turn. I'm not sure, Nate or Desert. I need to make a play here. Yeah, one of them's gonna have to look eventually. Yeah, I think they We've can push two on Nate. Nate. Yeah, because the cap pressure is on. They want to distract the models as much as they could. So Tubbins is coming in for the spot. The models still have more HP though. 23 seconds remaining on the timer. Yeah, I think that 268 did his job. Yep, okay. there's the spots. Tubbins, Tubbins managed now we're gonna to see some detect both of punishment. them. The models chats. need to finish these bats here. You can tell they ch they chose dwarf. They did, and on the other side, UNL managed to take out Nate. And yeah, the bat chats didn't... are still alive, so they have two more yeah. guns in the game. I think some action going on the other side as well. Yeah, Hips dwarf. Stand. Well, dwarf was actually Post able to straight. shoot desert. Uh, yeah, how did Dan get there? there? No, he just pushed it straight on from the other side to create uh, as many distraction points as they could. I don't think and that was he detected. Necessary. His face is detected, Steel Titan is also on the low side. The uh, Steel Titan uh, what's it called, reloading. And then yep. those are got uh, ammo racks. Very coordinated push coming from uh, UNL here. Celtic down push, pushing left, right side. Benji on the left, cap pressure again, 27 seconds. But where Benji is now, yeah, he detected the bats. Had drone is one shot. I think it comes to Desert Storm. Yeah, there he is. Had drone is out. Yeah, it's up to Desert Storm. He needs to. Yeah, he took out Dwarf. Carpet hiding behind out. him. And now they cannot. Can they cap? They can, but I think they need to take still Desert tighten. out here. Yeah, still tighten. He's out of the fight right now. It looks like Desert's going Benji, down. He's Benji again. put himself into a great spot. Benji, I think, is going to be the one holding off Immortals from getting over to the bat chat on ACAP. 
the models have one more tank and that is Steel Titan, okay. He's reloaded now, Desert is out 59 seconds on the... Yeah, Psycho Push just got punished. They need to kill Psycho Push and then they need to try to finish off that uh, machine. Actually, no, the Valors. 41 oh, yeah, seconds on the timer. Even, they're focusing Celtic first. That's just on reload, but... I feel he should have went for Valors. Because they were both clippable for, for Steel Titan. I think Celtic, is, the Celtic has kept them too long. I think they wasted too much time here. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't. Skips for bounce to shut. You know, I think Steel Titan's their only option here, but I don't even know when he's going to be reloaded. Reset. Don't forget. HP is still. The model says more. Okay, he did detected Corpa, but. Seven seconds on the cap. Steel he's Titan. not reloaded. He could be the he and Benji blocking him. He get the reset. He's dead. He got the reset and now. This game just effect. turned to a kill all and skiz fizz. Yeah, we may have lost this one, but oh, we'll be back. he just had to hide. GG. And he couldn't hide. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. Fortnite. All they had to do was hide. It was unfortunate. He bounced the kill shot on the machine. The bad yeah, think... chat would have would have saved their game there if those other two heavies would have. It, but I don't think you can put all your eggs in one basket like that, you know? Mm -hmm. I think uh, you, they just got unlucky finishing that machine. I think he's the silent hero. Celtic Dawn, was it? I mean, everyone wow. did their job perfectly, but... You know, towards the end, Celtic kept him occupied for so long and then still didn't die. That was a great play by Celtic. I don't know who called that on their team or who their caller is, but seeing them put that machine there, you know, if only he had a little bit more hit points, um, I think that would have been a completely different result if he had not been there, obviously. Uh, so I'll go down to UNL. Uh, Dwarf on Drugs in the bat chat, uh, dishing out just shy 1,200 damage uh, and 1,300 assisted. Benji in the machine, two kills, 2,300 damage. Uh, Celtic in the machine, 3,700 damage and three kills. And then we have Hibston in his machine uh, doing 1,300 damage. Um, we have Kerpa in the bat chat, 1,600 damage. Uh, Psycho Pooch in the Valor, two kills and just about 2,200 damage. Uh, Randy Duck, last but not least, 1,400 damage in his Valor. Uh, over on the model side, we have Hedron in Bat at 2,200 damage. Steel Titan in Bat doing 2,000 damage. Sir Tubbin, 723. In 13105, Desert Storm, 3k damage in Super Kronk. Skiz with 2k in his Valor. And Nate, uh, 2,300 in, in his machine. Uh, we have Archer. With 893, in object 268. You know, one more thing you would have to, uh, I, I would like to mention is because the models they were playing on EU server, right? And that could be one of the reasons some of the shots didn't connect. But again, UNL had that disadvantage during the first two games. Because you see a lot of shots fired from, from, from the bats, from, from Valor as well, that didn't connect. And that could be one of the reasons that Celtic survived for as long as it did. Well, no, the last shot on the Valor, or the last shot from Skizfiz on the machine bounced. It wasn't, mm -hmm. like, so much. And they were, like, point blank, you know. He had mm -hmm. to... I guess he tried yeah. to fire as soon as he was loaded. Mm -hmm. uh, could you just the server and then invite me? Yeah, yeah I am in the remember. process of now. You know, at one point I thought, you know, uh, Immortals had a great... Immortals, they had a great... That. They were up by about 10 to 15 HP advantage. They had the tanks, you know, they had units around it. But then that those bat jets, as soon as they spotted, you know, 268, the game shifted drastically. This game is definitely slow at loading. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to get a new Xbox.
I just sent it out. The UNL of winning the 3 1 and the next game is mine. The models now need to win every game if they want to stay in this tournament. But you, you also can't take them lightly, you know. They have, both teams have great players and so much experience here. And you can see very well how easily they can change the. Momentum of the game. Mm -hmm. Downfield Trout coming in early pick with the E100. <laughs> Is he a random? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why they do that. Yeah, man. I mean, it's a it's a lifelong mystery. Just join a <laughs> random that? lobby in team training. Just pick a tank wait. right away. <laughs> You'd have to, like, you think that they just have no idea what GTL is, nothing. Like, they... Well, it's not even Someone GTL, who just picks just, up the game and... Yeah, it's just... Some people know they have, like, random lobbies just for fun or whatever. No cap, uh, yellow races, whatever. Right? People do that. But to just come in here into a random lobby that you have no idea what it is, you see teams with full clan tags and you just randomly pick a tank? I don't understand. Okay, I think my game lagged out or something. I don't know, I like doing that on my free time. Just Could you invite me again, Argus? Yep. Can you send me another invite? You're in the lobby. No. Uh, oh, they have you spec in here. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 after no. no, no, I'm not specking. <laughs> the game has uh, sent me another after to restart the game. Okay. Uh, have they decided on the sides yet? So you and I will be attacking. Yes. Did you reset the game? Because they're still in the lobby. Yep, uh, I'm logging in now. Cuba in the chat with his uh, new player. The roses are red, violet, make me blush. Just leave them with that in two minutes. We rush. Two minutes, we rush. I see it there. That's awesome. Earlier as well, <laughs> when uh, I think uh, one hour was playing Tornado. Yeah, Cuba's uh, poetic soul is coming out here. <laughs> Swooning. I just put up the stream and I'm getting an ad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you should subscribe. <laughs> Am I not? Do I have to pay for that? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's free if you have Twitch Prime. You can gift me a Twitch Prime account, I'll subscribe to you. No, you must, if you have Amazon Video or Amazon Prime, you get Twitch Prime for free. Really? Oh, I do have that. There oh. you go. Yeah, I'm in the game. Whose pip, uh, pick is it for the map? It's, uh, yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it's not a map are fixed. It's a uh, model server. I'm just going to invite me. Yes. Yeah, started a timer. I'm still stuck in. Null RAM or something. Some serious technical difficulties. Are 
Are you in yet or no? Yes, I'm here. Awesome. And I've been spanked. Hey. Well, no for pressure the sake of us getting models. to watch more games, yeah. Mm -hmm. No pressure on any models. I would, they're the last and the team. All hopes of any yeah, no pressure. are in the <laughs> And they cannot afford to lose any more games. They must win every game from here on. Lend me your energy. I'm my Dragon Ball fans out there. Spirit Bomb reference. Raise your hands in the air. Can you see my hand? <laughs> it's not up. <laughs> yeah, two minutes remaining on the timer. <sighs> it looks like Unleash knows exactly what they're doing here. Picking pretty quickly. I think for mine defense, it really helps if you get the right spawn. Because a lot of yeah. times, you know, you want to be spawned at J5 and then you have one tank that spawned at J5. And everyone else spawned at Are you having J8. some PTSD? Is that it? <laughs> no, I just feel the defense is easier, but then you get bad spawns and everything goes to. Yeah, like when they spawn your super conch at K8. <laughs> <laughs> But that's okay. Okay, 50 seconds remaining on the timer. Uh, yeah, well, I'll go over in models lineup. We yes. have oh, okay, okay. Desert CGC. in QL, <laughs> Bot Tank in Valor, Jackie Steel Titan in the Machine, Nate Dashmaster in Batjet, Sir Tebbins in 13.5. We got Kerpa in his Rampanzer, Dwarf on Drugs in a Batjet, Benji Celtic Don in his, a. Wait, no, just Benji in his uh, Valor and Skinned. Celtic Don and Hibs Dan in his in their killings. Randy Duck in a 113. And to round it off, we got Psycho Pucha in an artillery conquer gun carriage. Mm -hmm. With lineups, I feel immortals will take the hill. But with that being said, they just have to be have someone at K4, you know. I think they'll rotate their turn in mono five and batch up maybe later on to protect that cap. Let's see what spawn they get. Will they get the good spawn? Is it the RNG gods with immortals in this game? They got three tanks on the J6 spawn and then four tanks on the, the J8 spawn. And why did I grab? Oh. Why did I grab my controller like I was ready to launch? <laughs> <laughs> Just ready to drive. <laughs> oh, okay. what are you saying about spawn? The, yep. So the race for the hill begins. A <laughs> model should still be able to take the hill. Yeah, thank God they had the QL out there. And UNL, they ignored the hill. The Panzer wagon back. They're pushing one lane. Made. Is protecting the one line or keeping an eye on that. That side, Tubbin should be able to take the hill. No. Wow. And the wagon is detected. Huge he got tracked but didn't damage it. Huge on punishment on who? Who got punished here? Tubbin. Sir Tubbin. That makes things difficult for them now. <laughs> as soon as you said he should take it unpunished, he lost Tubbins. all his points. Oh, they're killing Oh, duh. Killing. Yeah. Absolutely shredded his hit points. I don't know why I had all the colors backwards. We do see UNL taking that K1 position. Mm -hmm. um, they, so the other thing is UNL, they don't have... Do they have the tanks to apply B cap pressure? I guess they can. Since there's the... But I think they want to bleed in modern as much as they can first. Bot tank, artillery just fired. 380 on bot tank. Hit bot tank, tank yeah. I was about to say he's he's in cover from artillery, but <laughs> I'm really glad it's, it's a CGC man. Like it doesn't mm -hmm. even have to land in the same postal code. Hips then going to apply B cap pressure. Nate, he has a spot on him. What does that, that mean? CGC is now aiming at Nate because Hips then must have been communicated. The artillery. 
I don't know if he's can bot tank potentially. Uh, no, no, he's too far right. The proxy artillery fired. Yep, wow, and that's yep, Nate. Nine hundred damage from the bat dad. Wow, fourteen percent HP difference. But again, uh, unknown. They have an artillery. UNL. They have an artillery. I feel those one of those. Like heavy tanks need to rotate and get to K4, maybe. I wonder what Randy Duck here is doing. Oh, he fell. He didn't. Fall. I think he just <laughs> he's trying to get the vision. If that is on the cap, and there's no one at K4 for the resets. This is getting punished from the bad and light as well. And don't forget the bot tank cannot push around because of the two bat chat or the bat chat and light. Mm-hmm. Nate is spotted here. Nate is spotted is trying to go back, but wow, he didn't get punished by shot. the QO. Amazing shot there. You and L really have, has great, yeah. yeah. They have everything they need to you know, all their tanks, they have decent health, they are the right position for the PCAP. Artillery fired the gain and missed. Okay, HP is now even. 49 first, uh, 48 seconds remaining on the cap. Oh, I don't know if you saw this. Hipston almost blind fired Nate because he yeah. got spotted from the far side and he waited probably a second too long because Nate sat there for a second and backed up. Okay, a bot tank was able to reset hip stand. Oh, so models managed to borrow some time here. And more time to reevaluate what they want to do. Sir Tabins is rotating. Tanks are looking even. Tanks are even. Yeah. Desert pushed forward. They have Benji, who's a who's very difficult to uh, take him out. Bot, uh, I think bot tank managed to put another shot in hip stand. Uh, Nate did. Oh, Nate did? Okay, and... Yep. Nate's one shot, and... He's the only one that can get the resets, I guess, bot tank as well. Uh, what Desert... Are they, what are they wow, Randy here? Duck got punished significantly. We have a huge push from Immortals coming around down uh, the yep, C4 they, spot. Their plan is to take out both these QLs. Desert Storm Machine, they have the clip potential, they can do it. Uh, they're taking damage, not in position yet. Randy Duck and Hipster needs to go down here. That's Immortals' only hope. I think Immortals, yeah, they're really trying to get up on this hill. Yeah, they're trying to get Celtic down first. They took wow, Celtic, Celtic, down Celtic, down. Celtic lit on fire. Okay, Immortals, they're in, kind of in cover. Cap pressure's not on, and artillery. Dwarf on drugs took out Steel Titan. Artillery is loaded as well. They lost two tanks in process. I don't know if artillery can hit Jack here. I think he can. Uh, no, it's the Valor can. Benji, he's just at a huge, yeah. great position. Okay, I think UNL has more HP, more tanks, more guns in the game. An order. And the only thing the model has is time. Is it still four minutes? It's still a long time to protect the calf. I think if Nate can be undetected, you know, and it, he can manage to kill Hipstand, that will be huge for, for Immortals. Skisfis still has a lot of HP here. Double cap pressure is on, 32 seconds in the timer. And Nate did get spotted. Okay. Skispis has health, but the Conquer gun carriage can change that instantly. Skispis is going towards the hill. What's happening here? CGC fired. I think they're relying on bots. Oh, oh, Skispis no. just get punished from the Panzer Wagon. Panzer Wagon is also one shot. Nate reset. Nate, he got a reset. Nate's, yep. you know, playing really well, to be honest. He's one shot. Yeah. Benji pushed. He, Skispis should, be, wow. should take him Benji out. took a big hit. With Sir Tubbins. I think that push was not necessary. One second on the cap, and now they can effectively rotate. Sir Tubbins can rotate to the backside. They're pushing. That Nate. Artie's open. Tubbins can just go kill the Artie. 
if he you wants. know that push from bandy was not required they're now going all in we have bought they're going yeah. nate strike they took out panzer wagon with one shot nate nate is not on around. reload but but he's been yeah but, he but they're gonna out. get him here yeah he's not gonna get him here the, is he if he managed to get out of here no oh, but, he, flipped. oh he flipped oh unfortunate almost almost unfortunate. He made it out. If, it would have been Here nice to see Nate first. try to hit the 113 or the QL on his way out, but I think he was worried about that bat chat Scarce behind him. Missed a shot. Let's be back even. They can take out these two heavies. One is one shot, the other one is two. Yeah, two, but... Two for the oh, tip okay. stand. Tip stand is out. Nice. Tip Gizzo's tip made the shot, shot count. Wow. Randy, that is a one the shot. tank. Well. bot tank is out. Tabin still one shot. I think Skiz it's all up, up to Skizfiz now. Wow. Bats are yep. still reloading. He just needs to get in cover from artillery and yeah, psycho boots. Wow. That's what I was expecting to. He just needed five more seconds to move into a spot where his artillery is safe. But the, the game's still not over. So, Sir Tubbins, one shot, Bats at his two if the 105 behaves. He just needs to hide. <laughs> yep. I don't know how many shots Tubbins has. Could have all. I don't oh, think he fired. Oh, no, he's detected. Here we got one. One of five doesn't have the mobility. Dwarf missed. Kevin's got another oh. one now. This this should be his dwarf. And he fires. Oh, oh my god. Oh Third my gosh. Wow. You wait, know why wait, wait, he wait. has. Oh. <laughs> now you know why he has. Psycho almost in hit his him name. too, man. Psycho it's almost nice. hit him, man. Where to go, Tubbin? It's Sir Tubbin to you. Man. Wow, he's just gonna go right back to K zero and wait for the game to be over. <laughs> you don't Why have not? Never mind. Have <laughs> I'm, I'm over If his name was only Tubbins. <laughs> <laughs> no, so he missed the first two shots because you know Tubbins. He just pushed forward, made him rotate. But then the last shot, Batchet only managed to track him. Yeah. And is that some RNG here, or what do we think? Is it possible that Batchat ran out of ammo and was shooting heat? I don't know. <laughs> Hey man, uh, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, open yeah. to it's all possible. possibilities it's... here. I mean, APCR does the same thing. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Uh, yeah, I don't he, know. He, yeah, it's a standoff at this point. There's no reason for sure Tubbins to come after the mm -hmm. CGC. You know, the last game we thought like uh, Immortals <laughs> have it, they're winning, they have everything in control. And then UNL won, and then this game. Psycho gave UNL, him a second they had chance. A huge advantage. Yes, Immortals had it. Did, Psycho but, gave him a second yeah, yeah. chance, and then, yeah. I feel push from Bendy was not required. I mean, because he just as soon as he pushed, he just lost all his HP. Tabin put three in, uh, and then Skiz was able to finish him. Wow! Oh, you know, also unbelievable I think game. Bot tank, he played really. He man, you know, he was the only one getting the resets. It's, it's not easy to get reset from that spot. Nate, you mean? No, bot tank. Oh, even Nate. You know, could have made as well. He was one shot. He stayed alive for so long. You know. Yeah, I guess both of them. Imagine if he had made it away from that situation. <laughs> I mean, yeah. but no, that Ratchet had multiple opportunities to shoot him. So. No, so once he was around the rock, then no. I don't think so. It's only after we had shots on him. But you know, all of made... Psycho's damage was splashed pretty much. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> Only one pen, and that's when he when he killed him, I think. Yeah, that's when he killed uh, one direct. Oh, hit. Okay, so uh, we go over the line uh, or the score from him models, but we have Nate with 80 uh, defense points and Bot Tank with 75. I would like to mention that out. <laughs> okay, so Desert Storm in this QL, 1700 damage. Skiz Fizz, 1900 in QL as well. Three kills. Nate Dishmaster, 1000 damage, 80 reset points. Bot Tag, 2900 damage, uh, 75 reset points. And then Jackie with 1k damage. Uh, Steel Titan, 1500. And Sir Tubbins, 2k damage. And a clutch at that towards the end. Over on the UNL side, <clears throat> we have Randy Duck in the 113 with a kill and just shy of a thousand damage. We have Celtic Don in the WZ uh, 111 QL uh, with 565 damage. Uh, Hibston in his uh, WZ uh, with 2300 damage. Dwarf on drugs, two kills and 1800 damage. 
Uh, we have Benji in the Valor uh, with 3,800 damage and a kill. Uh, we have Kerpa in the Rampanzer uh, with one kill and 1,600 damage. And we have Psycho Pooch in the CGC uh, with 2,600 and change damage. I mean, that's and a kill. You know, we saw that kill at the end there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was an amazing game. I think Psycho hit the shots he needed to, but I think Tubbins, you know, unreal at the end there. Nate, I think, had a great game. But, I mean, I think Immortals mm -hmm. really pulled it back together with that, like, one to two line, you know, loop around, you know. Death push, yeah. I think that was a very good, very good play there. Obviously, it worked, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, like one thing, I think I would like to mention is that they were able to low on HP by I think fifteen percent at one point, but you know they still kept their concentration and they managed to come back. Well, I mean, I think in that last minute and thirty seconds, the game was mm -hmm. go literally going back and forth. It was like, oh, you and I has it in the bag now. Oh, now Immortals <laughs> might have it. Oh, no, now you and I. Oh, no, now Immortals has it again. <laughs> It was like it was a play by play, you know, every shot would change the, the direction of the game. And now you and Al is on defense side. They're getting ready for timer. Timer is on. Three minutes on the timer. The the Sir Tubbins moment just happened. Everybody <laughs> going wild in chat. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even imagine. <clears throat> Papa Tubbins, please. <laughs> the chat, man. Read the chat. Just Tubbins things. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky charm Tubbins. Tubbins doing Tubbins things. Casually. <laughs> you know, he got punished in the beginning, right? He was at... How much HP was he at? 200 or like... What? Yeah, 270 something. Or 242. 240 and, and change and versus like 800 pretty much so not only that but he lost all his health in the beginning he stayed alive yeah you know, the yeah. entire game and not only that he punished when that Valor, Valor pushed in Benji when he pushed in he got punished uh, by Tabins and then also towards the end and that was just huge the models are hey man they are no joke <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. was there <laughs> They're not to be messed around with, that's for sure. The 31 of Hive seems to be the new meta now, because I've seen, I've seen a lot of teams play that in Cliff, and we're also seeing it on Mines now. Two Mouses yeah, from UNL. Hopefully we're going to in the next <laughs> UNL is going very defensive here. 907. Maybe he, uh, he'll just send it to H1. But, you know, I would like to say... If you go too defensive and you know let immortals run the game, it might not end well for UNL here. Man, I think they're doing two mouses. Oh no, they're defending. Yeah. What? What's the time looking at? Uh. Not sure. Let's check. Thirty seconds on the cap. Oh, on the timer. Okay. Might as well go over tanks inside. The... Okay. I'll go with UNL. Uh, we have Celtic Dawn in E4, Kerpa in T100 LT, 
Hips Dam, 907, Psycho Pooch, and Warfront Drugs. Who was the light tank in the first two games that are in the mouse? Let me just cut you off. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have Benji and Renny Duck in Super Conqueror. You went over on leash, right? Mm hmm. Over on Immortal Side, we got Jack, M113, DZ Darkness, Super Conk, Desert Machine, along with Head Ronin the Machine as well, Nate, Bad Chat, along with Still Titan, and Sir Tuppence again in his 13105, Coveted 105. You know, you and I could have maybe, you know, making Immortal think that they're not going to take the hill, but the amount of HP they have, they, they can very well, like, they can slowly get to the hill and eventually take it over. Immortals does have the hill, uh, Tuppence is up here. Yep. Okay, so... Tuppence have the hill, they have the intel where everyone is. I think... The 907 and the light they spotted too? The 2100 You know that... You and I know exactly where models want them to be. You know, they have their three, four tanks watching the B, and Immortals have completely ignored the B. They have five tanks set up for A there, and they have no idea what's going to happen now. I think Psycho Pooch in the mouse is definitely in a, in a, not in a strong position yet, but, you know, has the ability oh, to get exactly into it. Oh, Jackie got tracked. The bush is still going on strong, the mouth and it's time to pay for it. 907 still out of the game. Benji will get focused up first. Randy Duck should go in next. I, I think Benji's gonna be out of here. I think they Just need to ignore, alive. ignore Mouse. Randy's out. Yeah, they're out. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you want out? You want out? You want out? Make their shots count. Out. It's even right now, guys. You want out? Make their shots count on the way up. Yeah, but the models have they have the high ground now. Yeah. The one thirty bad stats. Yeah. yeah. The, the mouse Psycho will just get, stuck there. Mm -hmm. Mouse will get focus out from this 113 here. Once bats are reloaded, they can clip another guy. Uh, DG Darkness watching the controlling the. Forget hill. about this 907 though. I mean, he's he's kind of a. Let's see what happens here. I think the next and step the E4. is to take out the E4. Yeah, the next step yeah, is yeah, the E4. Has side shots yeah. on these guys, right? The yeah, but the thing is, the super con, the super con is was, was the one distracting the E4. He kept looking over at the super con, and I'm pretty sure the super yeah. con. Mm. Nine or seven yeah. items, sneaky and light tank. Kerpa, they're getting punished as well. Yeah, Kerpa's Kerpa one is out. Tab is reloading again. And, and now the E4. Is, the E4 is coming. What hit the machine? Probably uh, mouse. All the yeah, mouse. He mount, yeah, two mouse. I had drone. He was in machine. He's out. But the E4 should go down here. Uh, yeah, 97 will go down shortly as well. They just wow. completely ignore those mouses. And that's the right play, right? There's no point wasting the shots on mouse. They're just they gonna run play. around. Yeah, the, <laughs> the mouse <laughs> is just stuck there. That's what I'm saying. I feel so bad for Psycho because when you watch that 8 9 line push, Psycho's yeah. just sitting there just watching them all blow by him. <laughs> They'll just go <laughs> around him. He's still stuck <laughs> down there, man. <laughs> I feel so okay, bad. Okay, so we have has dwarf 2020 center. It feels only 10% difference. Because <laughs> of the two mouses. That's oh, funny. only 10%. <laughs> okay, dwarf will go down here. Well, great play by Immortals. You know, I think that's what I was afraid of because you and I were they ignored the hill and that's a huge risk that could happen. They put too many tanks protecting the B cap as well. I mean if it's any indication, the model did not have any mount or any sort of tank with with armor to go towards the B. 
I, that's what I'm. I think the Mouses were good in that they could really anchor down, but I don't think they had enough supporting fire to stop. You know, a, a, what was it, a six tank push? I mean, at some point, you know, a mouse fires once every god knows how many seconds. It's like ten or twelve or thirteen or something like that. Mm -hmm. Depending on how good your crew is, and it's like twelve or thirteen. You know, so he doesn't have the DPM versus bat chats and machines and whatever the heck, and a th one thirteen. You know, I just I think that that was an uphill battle for those guys. Yeah. Okay. So, in models are back in the game. It's three three now, and we are going to tiebreaker. Uh, I'm gonna go. We have to switch change servers. Yeah. Right you here, you guys go over out. the game. I'll change servers. Okay. So, or on the model sites, we have head drone machine on nine hundred damage. Dead storm. Uh, he was the one who got focused out and, uh, initially. Uh, Jackie in his one thirteen sixteen hundred damage. Mate, in his bat set, 3,300 damage, Steel Titan, 2,200 damage in bat set, uh, Sir Tubbins, 3k in 13,105, DG Darkness, 5k for 4,900 damage in Super Conqueror, he, he would game from the bats and 105. He left in intermission screen. No, no, I switched it later. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Over on UNL side, we have Randy Duck and Benji on... Uh, so Randy Deck with 1k damage, Banji 871 damage, Psycho Putin Mouse 1800 damage, Dwarf 1400 damage, uh, Celtic Dawn in E4 765, and Night of 7 it seemed it was an odd pick, you don't see usually and was not able to make an impact. Uh, Kurpa 657 damage with his light tank. The models, they are back in the game, scores even, and now we are going to try breaker. We're on the EU server, right? <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Well, on the what's, EU. The, what's the tiebreaker? Proc. Yeah, it should be proc. Any model they have decided to attack? I don't see the team training room room open yet. Yep. <coughs> you think your models will be able to reverse sweep here? Coming from three one down, the score is three three um, now. Mouse does not play around on proc, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if <clears throat> we've played UNL recently, have we? No, we, I don't, we have not played them. 82 viewers. We're at 82 viewers. Oh, I guess. Thanks everyone for watching. Usually I get five. Hope but... you're enjoying the gameplay. <laughs> uh, my game just crashed. All right. <laughs> Eighty-five. Oh my God! Let's go. 
Okay, I think I will just restart the game because... Do you too? No, because I, I try to accept... Hargis, can you invite me again? Yes. Get a new Xbox, he says. Okay. It didn't work <laughs> last time, but it's working now. So. Yeah. But the game crashed. No, it didn't. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll be the only one in the lobby. I'll have to screen record it. Yeah, I think the pressure is on UNL now because they had a 3 1 lead. And now yeah. it's even while, like, Immortals, they have, you know, they're, they're in the zone now. You know, like, we all know how that feels, too, to be down 3-1, and it's just like, oh, they have one more game, and then they win. Like, it's hard to keep your yeah. chins up. We really give up whenever we have a two-game disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone's They're like, like okay, let's just go. Off. Let's <laughs> <laughs> give giving shout-outs. Yeah, this, game, this game is stupid fans. anyways. <laughs> we got shout outs from Asylum, shout out from Brit on your six. <laughs> Are they just mentioning random, random times? No, they asked what's the number one clan in the world right now, and everybody's. Okay. Obviously, <laughs> Decoy, hello. <laughs> uh, who were just, who just slapped yesterday. <laughs> No, but that hasn't hit mainstream media yet. Oh, I'm yeah, pretty sure it <laughs> Okay, we, I am on the server and being spacked. Let's see what, where are we on the timer. Did, the timer, did they start the timer yet? Um, yes, I'm the timer's the gone. Watch have the stream with broke, volume have on. Have broke a hundred viewers yet, Gambit? No. You're twelve away. Twelve away from breaking a hundred viewers, well, man. Everybody send the, the link to your parents. Yet. Have all them join. <laughs> send it to it's your brothers the... and sisters, your children. Very important. Yeah, spread, right it, spread the word. Yeah, spread the word. At three, four teams are tied at three. This game mm. is going to be worth watching, y'all. And again, Immortals are the only team remaining in this tournament that are representing NA. We have to support Immortals. <laughs> or, I mean, have to... Immortal... <laughs> Immortals is living rent-free in the chat, is the comment. <laughs> Immortals is living rent-free. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know. This is, is this the first time we have seen Brock being played? Because it's, it's a tiebreaker, so... I don't think many teams went to tiebreaker since the playoffs started. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anybody going 3-3. Yeah. Especially being down 2. <laughs> I mean, if you're going back and forth, but... I mean, honestly, you expect to see that, though, because certain teams have their maps. We all know that, right? You're really yep, good. And, uh, and then we got they keep. <laughs> It's bad when you, oh. know, you lose on your good map, then you're really screwed. Oh. Okay, anyway, anyway, so coming back on the game, we have 60 seconds remaining on the timer. In models, they have picked all their tanks. Yep. So does UNL. I'll go over in models. Uh, head drone, Skizfizz in QL, Bot Tech in Super Conk, Steel Titan in Valor, Nate in I7. And then we have Sir Tubbins and Desert Storm in Bat Jet. No one of five from Sir Tubbins this time. On Unleashed's side, we have a T100 LT driven by Krupa 666, Dwarf on Drugs, Celtic Don, and Hibs Dan in Machines. We got Benji in a Valor, along with Randy Duck and Psycho Pooch also in Skin Valors. Now, I understand not running a light tank on defense, but not running a light tank on attack, I think. Potentially, they're planning on, you know, making a harder push, you'd say? I don't know. You know, I don't know how I think passively you can play without a light. To detect, maybe, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you say that, but then you see UNL over here with <laughs> three Valor, three Machine, and a light, so... <laughs> they're clearly not planning on being passive, either. UNL, UNL 
Big. Did they have machines? Yeah, they had machines. Three machines, machines, three Valors. <laughs> Okay, final game of this uh, quarterfinal. I honestly don't know who this is going to go to. I have no yep. idea. Mm -hmm. Those three machines, you know, if they were they can get caught out, it's game over for UNL. But if yeah. like the shots punish, then it's all UNL. So UNL here on defense, Immortals on attack. Stating the obvious, but... Must win for both teams. Did we do tank callouts yet? We didn't. We did. Yeah, we did. I'm not paying attention. Yeah, you and I are pushing straight for the mid. They're going for mid control here. And then Immortal, ignoring the field, go to the other side. Something similar to what we have seen in mind. No, actually they do have nade here. And they are sending a super on Valorant on the other side. A huge split coming off from from the models here. Nate Nate is is lit up. Got shot. Uh, by the super conk machine try to come in. Wow. Were those super conks moving and hit him or did they stop quickly? Mm, I don't think they stopped they just look I don't know, that might have been. A rotation like a... from machines, they cross the tracks and they go to the other side. <coughs> <clears throat> they're all Do spotted they have, though, so... Yeah, they're all spotted. I think they're assuming the models are on that side. Nate is taking a I shot think from the Valor. Skizfiz was detected, so... That yeah. Might, might have given them some indication. Nate just got Amorag from Psycho Poots. She needs to get behind that rock. So that is a rock in between Psycho Poots and Nate here. Um, we have a... There's another tank pushing in. Where's that? Steel Titan is pushing in to help Nate. It looks like UNL kind of assumed that Immortals was going to be pushing stuff on the zero line. They seem to have rotated a lot of stuff over here. Uh, but we do see the machines splitting off and they're bringing one back. That looks like it's going to sit at B6. Yeah. Both teams have, I think, some decent map control. Wow, Nate is getting heavily punished from the hill. I think it's high 7 It doesn't survive now. One yeah. Team. And both Bat Chats, or I'm sorry, Tubbins got punished. Oh, UNL is not making that mistake again. Yeah, UNL sees him. <laughs> <laughs> Both teams taking it slow at this point. They want to bleed. No one wants to take any risk. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not there. Not that that there's there's Randy Doug getting punished. Did he, go, did he cross tracks? He was punished. He's out five. He was falling HP. back. He was falling back. Okay. Killen took a shot. Took a shot from the hill. Excuse me. Oh yeah. HP still even, 84-85%. Who's detecting Celtic though? Is that the QL? Take a look over here. Uh, we, we do see a move from Immortals to make some more um, progress on the one line. Yep, two line push is coming in from Immortals. Uh, that bot tank and Sir Tabin's moving on, on two line. How did but they sneak around? There's no. No one's watching that side. We just have those Valor fight. Yeah, they still oh, have uh, UNL line. still has their machine sitting at B6, but I think that that's going to be virtually obsolete once they get Super Conk to A2. I don't see how the machine's going to be effective there. But they are on defense, so yeah. We got the Valor right. in the ball here on D2. The still have tanks. I think UNL is making a push on the other side. The QL I, yeah, is I, on, I think those QLs are stuck. Are they? I mean, it's 2v3, I mean, so they yeah. can hold. They and can hold, not to mention Desert is rotating back to help the QL as well. Yep, yep, I do see that now. Yeah, K, K7. So they cannot make the play on, they cannot push QLs. If they push, they will lose that. QLs are full health and Desert full health. Yeah, I think they're fine over there, and I think now it's time for Immortals to try and, and farm out some of these um, uh, folks over Benji here on the AB. They, they have their full HP, right? So that's not going to be easy because they have machine and light tank protecting them from the A line. I think, yeah, I think there's honestly a limit on vision here from Immortals. I think they're unable to spot Kerpa, and I think they're unable to spot Dwarf on drugs. So I, I'm worried that um, Immortal, or uh, Bot Tank rather, when he tries mm -hmm. to poke for Benji or Psycho, he's going to get farmed from the side. 
don't know yet, I'm, though. I think no one has taken any damage for the last minute and a half. Yeah. It's, it's still 84, 85. I think they were rotating around to have more map control. Immortal does have more map control, but you and I have the tank with Immortals can't just push them without getting punished because those machines is preventing Nate from uh, punishing those uh, the, the Valors here. What I'm expecting Nothing, is yeah. mm -hmm, QL and Bastet might be rotating to push machines. Maybe that's their plan. It's two machines and a Valor, actually. It's good to see UNL make the decision to place Randy over on the zero line once he got hit so hard. I don't know if that was the initial play or not, but maybe now they're just trying to keep him alive. Sort of deal, you know, mm -hmm. he's, he's protected by the two machines and <clears throat> he cannot be picked off easily. I was thinking that uh, Immortals had a clear advantage here, but it looks like um, Unleash is really set up for defense now. They do. Like I said, I, yeah. It's the hill push is coming. The second bat is uh, going to join them as well. And you just Immortals does have the map control advantage, and now if, if this push is effectively executed, then they will have the tank's advantage as well. I think on the west this machine yeah. dies. We don't have anyone supporting those machines besides that other machine, right? So there's a push. There's a push coming. There's a push coming on the hill. Yeah. QL. Yeah. Dwarf in, is rotating as well. Celtic got hit one. Yeah, by Nate. Nate is pushing sideways. Don't forget. Everyone is getting farmed. Psycho and Benji need to turn and take out Nate right now. Oh, here comes. Machine is machine's going out as well. Hipstan will go down. Oh, he, he, the one shot. he dodged the shot from machine. Machine still has one shot at here. Okay. Wow. Machine does have one shot. Yep. Those are going Successful for the Successful push from Immortals here, clearly. Yep. I think that was that was Psycho's and Benji's opportunity to get rid of Nate here, and I don't think um, they saw that. They, they, they couldn't, because they have Super Conqueror watching their back, so the Steel Titan. If yeah, those ballots they try to move anywhere, they will get shredded immediately. 30% HP difference. Shut up, Immortals shut up. have all their tanks in the game. Immortals is really good at pressure now. Don't need to. It's just bot tanks floating in. I don't think it's a cap pressure. I mean, it is a cap yeah. pressure, but. Yeah, you're right. I think he's just taking the short road. <laughs> take out Dwarf. And I think Immortals, they have. Finish their comeback. 3 1 down. And they just won the 4 3. What a reverse sweep, man. We're gonna see Ooh, if there's a random attack approaching. A reverse sweep like that? Oh my wow. gosh. Wow. Shout out to the chat. <laughs> Simps for Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> We got oh, man, I'm just I'm still in shock. <laughs> I cannot I mean I can believe it because obviously Immortals knows what the heck they're doing. I, I very yeah, much I think I can yeah, believe that that happened, but mm -hmm. I think especially that mines game, you know, that was too close. That was a turning point, you know, to have been killing yeah. that. Yeah. I mean that bat chat had three shot opportunities to win this whole mm -hmm. thing. It would have they would have won. Three shot opportunities. That's why I, I saw someone else actually in the in the chat. Uh, Mark and say, oh, I wonder if he was shooting heat as well. And I was like, I that's what I said. I think he might have been. I don't know. I wasn't looking at the streamers. Okay. But anyway, so let's go over. I'll go over UNL here. Uh, we have Randy Duck in the Valor um, uh, with 473 damage. Psycho Pooch in his Valor with 1380 damage. Uh, Benji in his Valor with 1338 damage. Uh, Hibston in the machine, uh, 1600 damage. Uh, we have Celtic in his machine with 600 damage. <clears throat> we have Dwarf on Drugs in the machine, that was 1,700 damage. And we have Kerpa and the 200 LT with uh, one kill and 879 damage. Well, over on the model sides, we have Hadron in QL, 3,000 damage. Skizz within QL, 2,100 damage. Then Storm in Batchat, 1,700. Sir Tubbins, 800 damage. In his Batchat, Bot Tag in Super Conqueror, 2,100 damage. Steel Titan, 3,500 in his Valor. And Nate. 568 damage. He did take two shots early on, but managed to stay alive towards the end. Uh, and also supported the push when it, they were pushing towards the hill. I think 
I, I can't imagine what the com stat must be right now for for models. Yeah. Then GG to both I mean, teams. I, this is, yeah. Yeah. You know, amazing great. games. Like their cliff games. You know, they were down in one of the. I mean, they were attacking, but they brought it back, and they just dominated the defense uh, cliff side. One of the things uh, I picked up on that both of these teams did on two separate maps and two separate occasions is. You know, when they're rotating heavies, um, you know, they definitely kind of, they bring a, a medium or even a light with the heavy to kind of give them, you know, backup support and give them the extra view range as they're moving. And then they just kind of say, okay, we got the heavy in this position. Now we're going to leave and go back and do our real job. Yeah. So I th we saw Immortals do that with the Super Conk, uh, you know, pushing over to that one line and getting them up there. Once they got him there, they said, all right, now time to push, you know, the other side. Um, mm -hmm. I like seeing plays like that. That shows pretty good coordination to me and... They definitely thought about that. Yeah, I think... Like a backup um, plan in case they encounter something, you know. I think having two bad tests really helped them out on the, on the Brock side. You know, that, mountain, that mountain play yeah. was flawless. The two killing um, double bash at mountain push, that was mm -hmm. executed flawlessly. Yep. I don't know if you guys saw Nate health. pushed forward too. Nate got him. Yeah, he had Not much. Kill, yeah. yeah. I mean, but he was there for the distraction, or you know, yeah. made them look at multiple points at once. Oh, GG to both teams. No great. That GG, place. guys. That was you definitely yeah. worth the watch. Yep, that's it for UNL. Let's see the end there for now. Uh, models will progress to semifinals. They will play. The models and they will play models EU next week. And AWS will be playing against one. We have uh, three U teams and one NA still in the game. So over on oh, the stream it. now, mm -hmm. they just saw that zero line push. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching again. GG to both teams. Was a very, GG's very guys. exciting games and great games. Well, I hope you guys have rest of the good weekend. And we'll see you again next week. Have a yes. good night, guys.